Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In this video, I'm really excited to introduce you to Roberto Ugolini Fragrances, which we will be exclusively distributing in the United States. And I'll share with you why we think this brand is such a great addition to a gentleman's wardrobe. <laughs> Honestly, you only ever have one chance to make a first impression. As you probably already know, putting your best foot forward with a stylishly well put together outfit and footwear is the way to go. However, as we all realized through COVID times, humans have five senses and one of them is a sense of smell. And it's a very powerful one. No matter how good you look, if you smell bad, that's what people will walk away from you when they meet you the first time. Oh, it's that smelly guy. So today, I'm really pumped to introduce you to Roberto Ugolini Fragrances. Some of you may say, Roberto Ugolini is a bespoke shoemaker from Florence, Italy. What does he have to do with fragrances? Let me back up a little. Back in 2005, I was still enthusiastically participating in menswear fora online. And that's where I met the character of Grimaud de la Reynière, which was, of course, an alter ego, but the man behind that was Herbert Stricker, a fellow German. He was a distributor for high-end colognes and perfumes, and so he would travel to different cities in Germany, and he would regularly stop by in Hamburg, the city I went to law school at. Whenever he was in town, we'd meet up for dinner, discuss clothing, and have fun together. Harrod became a great friend, and through him, I was introduced to the world of high-end fragrances, which he's an absolute expert in. Over the years, he evolved from being just a distributor to being the producer or the nose behind scents. Often, he would get an idea for a fragrance and he was traveling or when he was seeing something, but then he would maybe sleep on it, think about it, a year or two, and eventually this idea developed that he wanted to launch his own fragrances that were different from the things that were in the market already. At first, Herbert wasn't sure about how to name the fragrances. He toyed with the idea of naming it after himself or coming up with a fantasy name or using the name of another person. Not someone that was famous in the fragrance world, but someone that was somewhat adjacent to it. Standing close to seven feet tall, Herbert Stricker has the most extensive bespoke experience of anyone I know. After trying many different bespoke shoemakers, he has been making his shoes at Roberto Ugolini in Florence. And as it so happens, Mr. Ugolini is also a fragrance lover. The two talked and decided that Herbert would launch the Roberto Ugolini fragrance line. And you can see the logo on the Roberto Ugolini bespoke shoes is the same as on the fragrance bottles. Herbert set out with a goal to create fragrances that had the same level of quality that a typical bespoke shoe would have. You may say, wait a second, the brand Roberto Ugolini with the Italian Dolce Vita flair is actually run by a stodgy German? Not quite. Habert grew up in Northern Italy where you speak German and Italian. So leveraging his vast network, his experiences and his expertise, he created scents that weren't copycats of other popular scents, but true, unique fragrances designed for people who appreciate quality clothing and quality everything. So what does that mean? Actually, the cost of the ingredients in a Roberto Ugolini fragrance is a lot higher than what you see in regular mainstream colognes. But it's not just the quality of the ingredients, but it's also the concentration. Many colognes are in a range of 5 to 10, maybe 15% of oil or fragrance concentration. And Roberto Ugolini fragrances start at 20%, which makes them an eau de parfum, which is a very strong scent. And they go all the way up to 30%, which you could characterize as an extrait de parfum or an extract. They're a lot stronger, meaning you get that strength that lasts all day and you get a lot more for your money. It also means they don't use any artificial stabilizers, often found in mainstream colognes. Yes, you'll get the true essences here, just blended with alcohol. 
Now, with such a high concentration of oils, you need special hardware, but I'll talk more about that later. So, why did We the Gentleman's Gazette partner with Roberto Ugolini fragrances, you might wonder? In the past, the only products we've sold on our Gentleman's Gazette shop are those of Fort Belvedere, which we have designed and created to our specific high-quality standards. Of course, knowing Herbert, I've toyed with the idea of creating our own Fort Belvedere fragrances. However, developing a fragrance from start to finish is not only a costly endeavor, but you also may end up with something that you don't actually like. Now, Herbert's company sells a plethora of high-end fragrances, but when I smelled Roberto Ugolini fragrances for the first time, I could see myself wearing all of them, which was not an experience I previously had with Cologne. So rather than starting our own line where we didn't quite know what to get, we decided to actually incorporate a high quality fragrance range that we truly liked and believed in. It was also a very good core values fit because just like us, they focus on top notch quality products. As the exclusive US distributor, we will not just sell those fragrances on a gentleman's gazette, but we'll also plan to roll those out to exclusive high-end vendors of fragrances and maybe other stores in the coming year. Honestly, we never associate the Gentleman's Gazette brand name with another brand that we didn't 100% believe in. We liked that it was a complete collection of fragrances because different people like different things and the same cologne may smell somewhat different on different skins and people. We didn't want a one-size-fits-it-all solution, but something that people could truly identify with after they smelled it. Now, when you make fragrances, you start with essences. And one of the things Herbert Strick always does is he has a vision for a scent and he shares that with a parfumeur, who's the one who puts together the composition. And many brands start out by saying, hey, our goal price per one kilogram of this essence is this. And with that in mind, they then design the fragrance and produce it. Herbert Stricker goes about it in a different way. He doesn't set a pricing at all, but lets the parfumeur decide and create something that they truly want. And once they're done and they say, this is it, then they look at the price. The key is pairing these different essences to create a multi-layered olfactory experience. Now, with a concentration of 20 to 30%, which is above industry standard, you get two benefits. One is an improved longevity, meaning you can smell the cologne for a longer period of time. All Roberto Ugolini fragrances are designed to last for six to 10 hours, sometimes even longer. The second thing you get with a higher concentration is called sillage, which means how present the smell is when let's say you enter a room. Of course, there's also a great level of consistency with scent. So one bottle of Roberto Ugolini Oxford smells like the other Roberto Ugolini Oxford. Now, it also has an impact on the value proposition. If you need three or four sprays from a lesser cologne, maybe even five or six, you'll be fine with just one, at the most two sprays from a Roberto Ugolini fragrance. The attention to detail doesn't stop with the essences though, but you'll also get nice packaging and a beautiful bottle that is inspired by the shoemaking trade. The cap, for example, is a genuine horn cap. And if you take a closer look at the label, it's actually made of genuine leather. The bottles come in a beautiful range of colors that at first may seem random, but it's all inspired by colors prevalent in the city of Florence, Italy. Or Firenze, as the Italians say it. The red bottles are inspired by the city's coat of arms. Red and blue are also colors found in the crest of the Medici family, which is very famously associated with the city of Florence. The brown on the Oxford bottle was inspired by the color of the roofs of the city. And the green came from the lush hills in Tuscany. And viola, or violet, is the official color of Florence. All these distinctive colors don't just make it easy to find the right fragrance if you have multiples of them, but they also look very nice on your dresser or your shelf. The names of the fragrances in the line reflect the connection to shoemaking and the city of Florence. There's also a range of not so obvious under the hood details. 
For example, the vaporizer is especially designed for these high concentrations fragrances, which are unusual. A regular vaporizer may get clogged and there's even different qualities in vaporizers to get exactly the right mist. So you can have a smaller dosage or a larger dosage, but you also get that right amount of spray. If you want to learn more about individual fragrances, you can head over to our website and check things out.